Tamagotchi Party On is a party game, what a surprise, but it's a party game with an interesting concept and very unusual game design. Your goal in this game is to become president, and instead of other party games where you collect a certain number of stars or other objects to come out on top or simply reach the end of the board first, Tamagotchi Party On is decidedly very non-linear. The deciding factor in one's victory in this game is popularity points, and there are three separate ways to gain popularity points. There are event spaces, which can be good or bad, and there's a random chance of which you get. Then there are mini games where you get popularity points proportionate to how well you perform. The mini games are fun, but unlike other party games, they are not the core of the gameplay. They are simply another method to gain popularity points. They all control really well with one exception, but they're not multiplayer, so don't hope for Mario Party with this. This is a very different kind of game. The third and biggest method to obtain popularity points is by reaching the campaign speech space before the other players. If you do so, you'll get a massive bonus of popularity that ranges from 500 to 1,500 points. In spite of the non-linear and open-world nature, the campaign speech spaces are the most traditional thing about the game. They're what drive it forward. It's a race to get to the campaign speech and get the most popularity points. Getting to the campaign speech usually isn't as simple as just walking there, though. There are different hazards depending on which town you're visiting, because campaign speeches take place in different towns across the elections. And if that were all the game offered, then it would be just an average Mario Party clone. It wouldn't be bad, but that's all it would be. Now let's talk about that, uh, that non-linear nature that I've brought up a couple of times now. Unlike other party games where you're moving along a beaten path with very few crossroads and deviations, in Tamagotchi Party On you actively choose which direction you want to go. You can go anywhere on the map at any point in time simply by pointing in that direction with the arrow. Even though you still have to roll a die to decide how many spaces you can move, this non-linear gameplay system means that you can choose which space you land on within your given set of limited options. So if you favor playing minigames, you can look for the nearest minigame space and actively move toward that, instead of just straight forward toward the campaign space. It's true that moving toward the campaign space is the most obvious goal, but choosing how you move there is a much appreciated addition of strategy. So it already gives the player more freedom and options than anticipated from its genre, but there's a sinister metagame lurking beneath the surface. In addition to popularity points, you can obtain money, which you can use to buy decorations or simply remodel your house. And you might be wondering why you would ever want to do this. And the answer is very devious. For each decoration or remodel you add to your house, you gain a multiplayer on the popularity points you gain from many games. This means with enough multiplayers, winning minigames can outclass reaching the campaign speech. Mindlessly moving toward the campaign space in the beginning may seem like a great idea, but later in the game when the computer opponents start racking up multiplayers and winning 500 popularity points per minigame, you'll quickly realize you made a mistake. Tamagotchi Party On is a game that requires you to think strategically and in the long term. Ignoring the campaign speech in favor of making more money or playing more minigames suddenly doesn't seem so silly now. Tamagotchi Party On is pretty surprising for its genre. The cute concept and non-linear movement would be enough by itself to distinguish it a little bit. But the cutesy metagame involving multiplayers certainly pushes it into its own identity. It's definitely not Mario Party or anything of the sort. It's a lot more fair, it's a lot more unique and creative, and I, I like it. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can still get your ass completely wrecked by shitty dice rolls and RNG elements.